Hello everyone, I am uh, a 17 year old innovator, interdisciplinary researcher and an uh, imaginator. I develop solutions to various global problems like plastic waste management, protein energy malnutrition, seawater desalination and uh, oral cancer diagnosis. Today I am excited to share my journey from Puttur to a planet. I started my journey as a kid who broke toys but my interest was to reconstruct and reconfigure it to meet my imagination. Screwdrivers, spanners and pliers were my childhood best friends. At the age of 11, I started designing, uh, so designing and developing solutions to agricultural problems after seeing problems in our farm. When I was 14, I was in Bangalore. I saw plastic waste lying in, in each and every corner of the city. That made me to think why this is happening and uh, I thought I should do something from uh, it. So my idea was to make pavement blocks from plastic. After coming back, without thinking much, I started experimenting. I took some plastic bottles, heated it in a metal pan and uh, created a material. It was like puppet, so brittle. My mom laughed at uh, me like after seeing the material. I was uh, discouraged, I was unhappy, but I thought to give a second try. This time, when I was doing the same, I had a plastic bag. I was curious what happens to the bag if I heat it. So I put that bag into the pan and uh, it caught fire. To extinguish fire, I threw some sand. This plastic and sand combined together to form a new composite. After cooling it down, I tried to break it, but it did not break. So that was a eureka moment for me. Out of excitement, uh, I went to a professor to test the material. He said that it is impossible to create a material, to create a composite using uh, plastic bags and sand because plastic bag is made up of a, a very low grade uh, polymer, low density polyethylene, which is very hard to recycle. And he also alleged that I must have mixed rubber. That was a major setback. After some time, I thought to give, uh, meet another professor and I went to another professor and he tested the material. But it didn't break. He advised me to do it in a scientific steps as a research. After two years of continuous development and testing, I, had, I created a material out of waste plastic and sand which is 24 times stronger than concrete, 8 times lighter than concrete, 12 times cheaper than concrete and more greener than concrete. So this is a material which I developed. So yeah, so it's a uh, 24 times stronger than concrete. So it has wide range of applications, starting from screw and nut to the construction of entire building. It can save number of houses being washed out due to coastal erosion. I was fortunate enough to represent our country at the International Science and Engineering Fair 2017. Even though I didn't win there, it gave me a confidence to do more innovation and to do it better. After coming back, I was watching a TED talk of Professor Manu Prakash. He said that paper is the next generation diagnostic tool. That inspired me to do something out of paper. I came to know that protein energy malnutrition is one of the main reasons for childhood mortality. So along with my friend, I developed a ultra low cost, non-invasive, pre-symptomatic paper diagnostic tool which can detect protein energy malnutrition with just saliva, paper and uh, smartphone. So, so this is the paper strip. So developing this project was not easy as it works. We did not have any lab facilities nor in, uh, not in, uh, any funding. But this actually made us to think out of the box and uh, develop more simpler and more economical device. I always believe that less is more. I started thinking how to do it and I was eating parota. So I thought how this parota is pre-digested in the mouth and I came to know that saliva breaks the carbohydrates into maltose. I implied the same reaction into the paper which uh, where the saliva breaks the starch iodide complex to change the color and the smartphone detects the exact color change and predicts the protein content in the blood. So this was only possible by combining a century old chemical reaction with the cutting edge artificial intelligence. This project was a combination of chemistry, biology and computer science. 
Many people suggested us not to do an interdisciplinary research, instead focus one on one area of development. But I believe that interdisciplinary research is the key and this time I decided I, that I will uh, follow only my ideas. Again I was uh, selected for ISEF, I participated in ISEF and uh, people were laughing at the size of our project. So, but this time I won the grand award and uh, considering my interdisciplinary research and frugal innovation, MIT Lincoln Laboratory has named a minor planet after me. Uh, so after the award ceremony, a mentor from other country came to me and told, you Indians are really genius. You bring paper in that fit in your pocket, uh, you bring project that fit in your pocket and go back with award in your bag. That was a very proud moment for me. I believe, thank you. I believe that simplicity is the key. It's not a solution if it doesn't flow like water. Uh, the journey from Puttur to a planet was not an easy one. A lot of ups and downs, encouragements and discouragements, uh, success and failures. But thankfully I love adventure, so I enjoyed it. And uh, the real success for me was uh, when I went to the professor with some sweets and told him that I won the President's Award for the innovation which he before told was impossible. Uh, I believe that discouragement is just like compost. It may smell bad, but it's very essential and uh, helpful for the growth. Initially, my goal was to win an award, but now I believe that my greatest award will be being able to recycle tons of, uh, tons of plastic every day and uh, saving lives of many children by our paper strip. You may think that uh, this guy succeeded because of an accidental innovation, but I think that I succeeded because of forces. I was crazy enough to start with no prior knowledge. I was curious about the plastic bags. I was conscious to observe the material formation and I used my common sense to cool it down. And I also believe in four eyes, ideate, innovate, implement and inspire. If you innovate something and don't implement, it's, worth, it's useless. If you implement something and don't inspire others, it's worthless. I want to thank each and everyone who has uh, helped me throughout my journey. And uh, I don't know whether I can make a big change, but I definitely want to make our planet more livable. Thank you. Thank you, Vanessa.